الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الناصح الأمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى has allowed us to see another Ramadan and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it of those who are forgiven during the month of Ramadan from those who benefit in the month of Ramadan for those whom their lives are changed in the month of Ramadan the Imam the Fadilat al-Shaykh al-Allama Shaykh bin Baz rahimahullahu ta'ala he gives some very precious advice for the Muslims inside of the month of Ramadan. The Imam Rahimahullah Ta'ala he says, Nasihati lil Muslimin Jami'an and Yattaqullah Jalla Wa'ala. He says, My advice to the Muslims, all of them, is to fear Allah Jalla Wa'ala, to have taqwa of Allah Azza wa Jal. شَهْرَهُمْ الْعَظِيمِ بِالتَّوْبَةِ And that they accept and they greet their month of theirs. They greet this tremendous month of theirs. بِالتَّوْبَةٍ صَادِقَةٍ مِنْ جَمِيعِ الْذُنُوبِ That they greet this month with sincere repentance from all sins that they greet this month they accept this month with repentance that they truthfully repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all sins and I want us to be thinking about this because we know from amongst us those who went out and they bought their dates we know from amongst us those who went out and they bought this and they bought that from those things that they're going to eat for suhoor we know from amongst the those who went out and they did this, they did that in preparation of Ramadan. But from the greatest of preparations, from the finest of preparations, from the greatest of accepting and greeting of the month of Ramadan that an individual can do, is that they truthfully repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is that they truthfully make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is that they have the resolve to leave alone that which they have been doing from the haram that they cease and they desist from that which they've been doing from the haram that they have a remorse in their heart from that which they've been doing from the haram that they return the rights to those whom the rights need to be returned to that they repair those whom they have infringed upon that they repent sincerely to Allah Jalla wa'ala the Imam rahimahullah ta'ala he says وَإِن يَتَفَقَّهُوا فِي دِينِهِمْ and that they learn or that they seek to have understanding of their religion from those who have prepared from those who have prepared we know those who have prepared for the month of ramadan by making sure that their dvrs are set for their particular tv series so that they may marathon watch or that those things for entertainment are set or that their calendar is checked off for those series and those soap operas that come on especially during the month of ramadan and that's what they're getting ready for. But the Imam Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says in that they seek to have understanding of their religion. So how many from amongst us are those who have set aside those books, dealing with the ahkam of siyam, dealing with the rules and regulations of fasting, dealing with the ahkam of qiyam, dealing with the rules and regulations of standing in the, in, in the night. How many of us have set aside those books of learning? Those things that we want to read through, those MP3s that we want to listen to from the ulama, the mashaykh, who they explain the likes of these works. How many of us have done that? The Imam Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says, وَأَن يَتَفَقَّهُوا فِي دِينِهِمْ 
وَأَن يَتَعَلَّمُوا أَحْكَامَ صَوْمِهِمْ وَأَحْكَامَ قِيَامِهِمْ لقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من يرد الله به خيرا يفقهه في الدين he said that they seek to understand and have understanding of their religion and that they learn the rules and regulations of their fast and they learn the rules and regulations of their night standing in accordance with the hadith of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم or in accordance with the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said whoever Allah wants good for then he gives him understanding of the religion hadith mutafiqun alayhi min hadith muawiyah radiyallahu anhu this hadith is a hadith that is collected by al-Bukhari and Muslim it is agreed upon from the hadith of muawiyah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu wa liqawl al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and according to the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which gives us understanding of this tremendous time frame that we are in so that perhaps we may better appreciate the importance and the significance of the time that we are in the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said idha dakhala ramadan futihat abwab aljanna wa ghulqat abwab jahannam وَسُلْسِلَةِ الشَّيَاطِينَ حَدِيثُ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ أَبِي هُرَيْرَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَلَى عَنْهِ The Prophet ﷺ, he said what means when the month of Ramadan it comes, then the doors of the Jannah are opened, the doors of heaven are opened, and the doors of the fire are closed, the doors for the hellfire they are closed. And the shayateen, they are shackled. The shayateen, they are shackled. So this gives us an understanding that this month is not like other months. This time frame is not like other time frames. This occasion is not like other occasions. وَلِقَوْلِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ And according to the statement of the Prophet صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ إِذَا كَانَ أَوَّلُ لَيْلَةٍ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ when it is the first night of Ramadan, Futihat Abawabu Jannah, the doors of Jannah they are opened. Wahulikat Abawabu Jahannam and the doors of the Jahannam they are Awulikat Naam Abawabu Jahannam and the doors of the Jahannam they are closed. Wasufirat as Shayateen and the Shayateen they are chained up. They're chained up. وَيُنَادِ مُنَادٍ And a caller he calls out. يَا بَاغِيَ الْخَيْرِ أَقْبِلْ وَيَا بَاغِيَ الشَّرِّ أَقْصِرْ أَقْصِرْ And a caller he calls out. O oh, you who intends to do good. O oh, you who wants to do good. O oh, you who's looking for good. Come forward. And O oh, you who is looking for evil. O oh, you who want the evil, then desist or cease. Wallillah, And for Allah, there are those who are pardoned. Those who are pardoned from what? Those who are freed from what? Minanar. There are those who are freed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the fire. Those who are freed from the fire. Wadhalika kullu laylatin. And this is every night. Every night in the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He pardons and He frees those who are going to the fire from the fire. He pardons those who are deserving of going to the fire to be cleansed for their evil. He pardons them. He pardons them. He pardons them from having to go to the fire to be cleansed from their evil. Hadithun Sahih. أخرجه الترمذي وابن ماجه من حديث أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه وصححه الألباني رحمه الله تعالى. This hadith has been collected by Imam Tirmidhi and Imam Ibn Majah from the hadith of Abu Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه and it was graded as authentic by Imam Al-Albani رحمه الله تعالى. ويقول صلى الله عليه وسلم and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to say مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانِ إِمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ 
ومن قام رمضان ايمانا وحسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه ومن قام رمضان ايمانا ومن قام ليله القدر ايمانا وحسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه حديث متفق عليه من حديث ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say that whoever fasts the month of Ramadan out of Iman and anticipation of the reward and we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to make us who fast Ramadan out of Iman, out of faith not those who fast Ramadan because everyone is fasting Ramadan not those who fast Ramadan because they feel that's what is expected from them not those who fast Ramadan because they don't want to look like the odd men out when all of their family is fasting Ramadan not those who fast Ramadan due to peer pressure but those who fast Ramadan out of iman they fast Ramadan seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they fast Ramadan because they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they fast Ramadan out of iman out of iman because of the faith that they have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and anticipation of the reward anticipation of the reward not those who fast Ramadan because it's a cultural habit and they don't reflect about the reward that they will get from Allah if they were to fast for Allah because we have to fast for Allah Azza wa Jal we have to fast in a manner that is according to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu and then we will be rewarded for that fast bi-idhnillahi ta'ala whoever fasts out of Iman and out of anticipation of the reward then he will be forgiven for what has transpired from his sins he will be forgiven for his previous sins this is a tremendous thing which one of us except we need that and whoever stands the night of Ramadan whoever stands the nights of Ramadan they stand up the night of Ramadan praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the taraweeh out of Iman and anticipation of the reward then they will have their previous sins forgiven and whoever stands the night of Qadr whoever stands Laylatul Qadr out of Iman and out of anticipation of the reward then he will have all of his previous sins forgiven we see here that there are layers and layers and layers or opportunity after opportunity after opportunity in the month of Ramadan for us to have all of our previous sins forgiven for us to have all of our previous sins forgiven all of the dirt all of the filth all of the evil all of the crimes that we have committed up until now we can have it all erased all wiped away all forgiven if we were to fast this month out of Iman and anticipation of the reward if we were to stand the night out of Iman and anticipation of the reward if we were to stand later to Qadr out of anticipation uh, and out of Iman and out of anticipation of the reward then all of the previous sins will be forgiven we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make those to make us of those who their previous sins are forgiven we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who are fasting Ramadan out of Iman and anticipation of the reward those who stand the nights of Ramadan out of Iman and anticipation of the reward those who stand Laylatul Qadr out of anticipation and, and, and seeking uh, out of Iman and seeking the reward those who their sins are forgiven because they come with the right righteous good deeds inside of Ramadan out of Iman and anticipation of the reward هَذَا أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِجْمِعِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا فَإِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله do not be neglectful in this month of Ramadan do not be neglectful in this month of Ramadan 
do not undervalue the month of Ramadan. Understand and recognize the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you in this month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He blesses us in general and He bestows upon us in general a tremendous bounty. And that is that every good deed that we do is multiplied by ten. And as the Salaf they used to say, this is the, the default for every believer. The default for every believer is that their good deeds are multiplied tenfold. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he narrates upon his Lord Azza wa Jal, as he says, يَقُولُ Allah Azza wa Jal, يَقُولُ Allah Jalla wa Ala, كُلُّ 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 عَمْلِ بْنَ آدَمْ نعم كل عمل من آدم يضاعف الحسنة عشر أمثالها أو عشر أمثالها He said that every action of the son of Adam then it is multiplied tenfold That comes in another narration كل عمل من آدم له that all of the actions of the son of Adam, they are for him. Illa soul, except for fasting. In this narration, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said that Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Kulla anun Adam, yudha'af, al-hasana ashra amthaliha illa sab'amiyya du'afan. That all of the actions of the son of Adam, they are multiplied for them. Meaning that what? The believing children of Adam, Naam, the believing children of Adam, that their deeds then they are multiplied for them tenfold, all the way up to seven hundred times. So they multiplied by ten, all the way up to seven hundred times they are multiplied. وَقَالَ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِلَّا الصَّوْمِ Except for fasting. Except for fasting. فَإِنَّهُ لِي Allah Ta'ala says, except for fasting, for verily it is for me. وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ And I shall reward for it. I shall reward for it. Meaning that what? That the reward for the fasting is that which is greater than the regular reward. The reward for the fasting is that which is greater than the default reward. That the reward for the fasting or the multiplication for the reward for the fasting is above that than the multiplication of the regular reward. So we understand that this time that we're living in is not like other times, that this occasion that we are in is an auspicious occasion, not like other occasions, that this is an occasion that there is therein a great opportunity for us to have our deeds multiplied, 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 even more than they are multiplied throughout the rest of the year. So therefore we have to be diligent in doing the righteous good deeds. We have to be diligent in striving to do good. We have to be diligent in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he goes on to say in this hadith al-Qudsi, يَدْعَوْ شَهَوَاتَهُ وَطَعَامَهُ مِنْ أَجْلِي he has left off his desires and he has left off his food for my sake. And for the one who he fasts, then he will be happy twice. He will have two occasions of happiness. He will be happy when he breaks his fast. When he breaks his fast, he will have a period of joy. وَفَرْحَةٌ عِنْدَ لِقَاءِ رَبِّهِ And he will be happy. More importantly, he will be happy when he meets his Lord. When he breaks his fast, he will be happy. But more so, more importantly, when he meets his Lord, جل وعلا, he will be happy. Allah Azza wa Jalla goes on to say in this hadith al-Qudsi, وَلَا خَلُوفُ فَمِ الصَّائِمْ أَطْيَبُ عِنَّ اللَّهِ مِنْ رِيحِ الْمِسْكِ In that, the odor that comes from the mouth of the fasting person is sweeter to Allah 
than that of misk, than that of fine perfumes or fine oils or yani like this. وَيَقُولُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ And the Prophet صلى الله عليه said in the aforementioned hadith was متفقون عليه من حديث أبي هريرة The aforementioned hadith of Qudsi is a hadith that is, that is agreed upon by Bukhari and Muslim narrated on the authority of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه وَيَقُولُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا كَانَ صَوْمْ إِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمْ أَحْدِكُمْ فَلَا يَرْفُوهُ and when it is the day when one of you is fasting, when it is the day of one of you to fast, when one of you is fasting, then he should not act in a lewd manner. وَلَا يَصْخَبَ And he should not be loud and argumentative and yelling and so on and so forth. فَإِنْ سَابَّهُ أَحَدٌ And if somebody verbally abuses him, if somebody talks bad to him, if somebody cusses him out, أو قاتله or someone tries to fight him someone tries to be physically aggressive towards him فليقول then he should say إن امرئ صائم then he should say that I am an individual who is fasting I am an individual who is fasting حديث صحيح أخرجه البخاري من حديث أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه this hadith is a hadith that is authentic it has been collected by Imam al-Bukhari narrated on the authority of Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه على كل حال we should see from this is that when we are fasting it's not just a matter of leaving off food and drink it's not just a matter of leaving off our desires but rather it is also a matter of leaving off that which is haram. Brothers on the back wall, get off the back wall so the sisters have free room to go into their, their section. So they have a free lane to go inside of their section. That it is not just about we leave off food and we leave off drinking our desires, but we have to leave off acting in a lewd manner. We have to leave off filthy behavior. We have to leave off acting inappropriately. We have to leave off these sins. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said to bring further clarity to this point. In a hadith that has been collected by Imam Al-Bukhari from the hadith of Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala an. As the Prophet Sallallahu said, مَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ Whoever does not leave off filthy speech, whoever does not leave off lying and filthy inappropriate speech, وَعَمْلَ بِهِ and acting in accordance with it, whoever does not leave off filthy speech and filthy actions, whoever does not leave off filthy speech and filthy actions, listen, I want you to listen up, Ya Ibadullah. Whoever does not leave off filthy speech and filthy actions, whoever does not leave off the filthy speech and acting in accordance to it, فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَدْعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Then Allah has no need that an individual leave off his food and his drink. If you don't leave off the filthiness, you don't leave off the filthy speech and leave off acting in accordance to it, Allah don't need that you leave off your food and your drink. And this is not to say, nor is it properly understood from this, that if an individual comes with filthy speech, like backbiting, slander, lying, verbally abusing, so on and so forth, then this breaks his fast and now his fast is invalid. Nor are we to understand that if an individual comes with actions that are in accordance to that, then it will make his fast invalid. It doesn't mean that. But it means that it will decrease the reward. As Imam bin Baz ta'ala, he mentions elsewhere that if an individual he slanders and he backbites while he's fasting, he does not break the fast or nullify the fast, but it will decrease the reward of the fast. It will decrease the ajr that he will get from the fast because it is not just the intent or it is not just the goal of the fast to leave off food and drink but rather it is the goal of the fast to even more so leave off that which is haram I want you to reflect because when an individual is fasting he's leaving off his desires meaning that it, those individuals who are married they are leaving off relationships with their spouses during the daytime of Ramadan and relation with their spouses outside of this time that it is what it is that which is permissible for them if an individual were to reflect during the time of fasting an individual he will leave off food and he will leave off drink and food and drink outside of these times it is that which is what permissible for him 
So if an individual during the time of fasting is leaving off those things that are other times of the year permissible for them, then how much more so are they to leave off those things that are haram all year round? Even more so now. You leave off that which is haram all year round. Because in Ramadan, during the daytime, you leave off that which is permissible other times of the year. You understand? So it's not just about leaving off the food and the drink, but it's also about what? It's also about leaving off that which is haram because what? From the benefits and the fruits of Ramadan is that it trains and it acclimates the soul to doing what's right. It trains and it acclimates the soul to doing what is right. Again, it trains and it acclimates the soul to doing what is right. So we have to be steady upon this, ya ibad. The Imam Rahimullah Ta'ala he says for Wasiya al Jimi al Muslimin Ayyatakullah. So therefore to reiterate again my advice, my advice to all of the Muslims is to fear Allah Azza wa Jal wa yahfahu sawmahum and to safeguard and protect their thighs from that which will damage it or that which will destroy it. وَإِنْ يَصُونَهُ مِنْ جَمِيعِ الْمَعَاصِ And that they safeguard their fast from all sins. All sins. وَيُشْرَعْ لَهُمْ الْإِشْتِيَهَارِ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ And it is legislated upon them that they work hard and very diligently in doing good. وَمُسَابَقَ إِلَى الْإِلْطَاعَاتِ مِنَ الصَّدَقَاتِ And that they race and compete with one another in doing righteous good deeds from spending in charity. Let us compete, let us race to see which one of us can give more charity in Ramadan. Which one of us can spend more upon the poor in Ramadan. Which one of us can spend more in the ways of Allah in Ramadan. And then let us carry that over outside of Ramadan, after Ramadan, because the Lord of Ramadan is the Lord of the all of the months, the Lord of all of the years, the Lord of all of the universe. وَالْإِكْثَارُ مِنْ قِرَاءَةِ الْقُرْآنِ And we should strive to read a lot to the Qur'an. We should increase our reading of the Qur'an. وَالتَّسْبِيحِ And from praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying subhanallah. وَالتَّهْلِيلِ By glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ And by praising Allah and sending thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying Alhamdulillah and by glorifying and magnifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with takbir by saying Allahu Akbar wa istighfar and by repenting and asking and beseeching and begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us by begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us by begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us to increase in our readings of the Quran readings that are readings of understanding where we're seeking to understand what we are reading contemplating and reflecting upon that which we are reading so that we may act upon that which we are reading so that we may act in accordance to that which comes in the Quran so we may be affected in our hearts or be softened in our hearts or be purified and clean by the readings of the Quran so that we may change and become better so that our lives may be enriched by the guidance of the Quran because this is the month of the Quran Shahr Ramadan alladhi the month of Ramadan in which the Quran it was revealed therein. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who benefit from the month of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who the month comes to them and it leaves from them and they are better than when they are than when they entered the month. Those who end off the month of Ramadan better than what they had entered the month. Those who are constantly getting better as each day go by they get better in the month of Ramadan and then that is carried over to after Ramadan and throughout the course of their lives those who are striving to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the best of their ability and when they come up short those who beg Allah, who beseech Allah, who beg Allah and beg Allah to forgive them we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who are pure, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who are off repenting unto him, but really these are two groups of individuals whom Allah who ta'ala loves, we ask Allah who ta'ala to make us of those whom he loves we ask Allah who ta'ala to make us of those whom he accepts their good deeds. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who truly fear him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who are the occupants of Jannah to those. We ask Allah to forgive us.